Linson, we welcome in an outstanding BYU sprinter and hurdler. He is Riley Hunt. Riley, welcome to BYUSN. Thank you for having me. Were you the kid that won all the events at field day in elementary school? Oh, of course. I. You were that. You were that guy. Yeah, PE was the Olympics to me. The rest yeah, of us sure. were sitting over there going, "Look at Riley. He's going to win everything else, and the girls are going to think he's so cool." Oh yeah. And that's where it much. started. Yep. That's where. That's where track and field. <laughs> that's where it was birth. Yeah. PE class. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Riley, uh, you're here for a reason because you're awesome. And you <laughs> recently you. did something pretty extraordinary, specifically ran the fifth fastest time in program history in the 110-meter hurdles. Yep. I mean, you were flying. What was that race like for you? And uh, I guess that accomplishment and a long list of accomplishments that you've had as a sprinter and a hurdler. So it was great. Like um, For hurdles, one of the big first accomplishments is going under 14 seconds. Thankfully, it went 13.94. Let's but go. So always PRing in your first meet of the season always feels amazing. Your first meet. First meet of the year. First outdoor meet. First outdoor meet as a Cougar. Going fifth all time. So you can never be, never be mad at that. So When the gun sounds, Riley, and you're running, are you thinking at all or is it all instinct for the next 13 seconds? Or so? Oh, yeah. You have, you have no sense of sound. I feel like I lose vision, too. Like really? It is all just hitting my steps, going over hurdles. It's, it's weird. It's like the movies when everything slows down. Yeah. The sound drains out. Everything gets very narrow. That's exactly what it is. And the 13 seconds feels like, I feel like five minutes. <laughs> do you so. think in that zone that if you do stop and think, that's cost you time? Does oh, it have to just be total? 100%. Really? Like, I've been running track. I think it's my 11th or 12th year yeah. now, total. And sometimes when I run against guys that are a lot newer, that can happen, whereas... Especially in the hurdles, you start to think a little too much, you start hitting one, yeah. stuff becomes a little lazy, and then the more experienced guys could catch up and mm. take a win from you. Interesting. So. Well, you're clearly a veteran, and you mentioned, okay, first outdoor meet at BYU, you mm -hmm. PR in yeah. that, that scenario, which is awesome, but you bring a wealth of experience, you transferred from Cal. So yeah. why BYU? Why, why leave Cal and pick BYU? So first off, I graduated. I spent four years there, got a... Got my degree, so outstanding. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. And I still had two years to run with COVID and redshirt and everything, so I said might as well go get a master's degree. Might and as well. Exactly, might as well. And uh, I thought since I have the two years, and uh, I already talked to BYU out of high school. I had Coach Kyle's phone number, so wanted to get a new, new change of scenery, new team, just. New experiences, so yeah. I gave Coach Kyle a call, and he was very happy to reconnect after those four years. Even though we stayed in touch, if we ever were at similar meets, would always pass by, say hi, catch up. But he was very quick to welcome me to the team, welcome me back, and uh, very thankful. Have you ever once considered returning kickoffs? Dude, always. <laughs> I was, this is this is my first year that I. Uh, I've officially done track longer than football. So yeah. I always, it's still in there. I still dream about it. Still dream about it a lot of times. So. Well, we know football. a couple guys. We may have to have a conversation <laughs> with somebody. We know a couple Kelly guys. Papinga comes to mind, special <laughs> teams. Kamani Absolutely. Sitake. Hey, I'll take it. Hey, they could use speed, especially a guy that was, and I know you have ties to the Church of Jesus Christ of mm -hmm. Latter-day Saints, and you're a member. Your friends at Cal called you the Mormon <laughs> Missile. Like, yes. when did that become a thing for you in Berkeley? <laughs> So at Cal, my ward was only about 20 or 30 people, my young single adults ward. So just in the school itself, there was not yeah. many members of the church. And I think in sports, there was maybe me and one other in the entire BY, or sorry, Cal athletics. Wild. And so, and I don't, I don't hide that I'm a member either, even at a school like that. Right. And so all my friends, you know, everyone just comes up with nicknames for each other and that one just fit pretty well. So my whole four years there, that was, that was the nickname. So, <laughs> and I, I, it's still, they still call me it to this day if I ever see him at a meet or on Instagram. And uh, it just, it's good memories. Yeah, you can't slow down uh, when you're the missile. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you have to keep going faster. Yeah. So there's some motivation there. How about the NFL and your TV debut? What happened oh. with that? Yeah, there's just, like, how did you end up in an NFL commercial? I did not think this was going to get brought up today, but <laughs> <laughs> my senior year of high school, we were, we were trying to raise money for a new locker room yeah. for our football team. And my 
you know, I just came off a really good track season and my coach, my football coach comes up to me and goes, hey, we're going to be in a commercial and they need a hurdler. And uh, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> you want to want to do it? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Didn't think I was going to have to go through like three rounds of auditions. <laughs> but next thing I know, I'm hurdling. I even got a line, which I thought was awesome. What was the line? It was, can I jump over anything else? <laughs> nice. And then, Still got the delivery on that. Good job. And then next thing I know, I'm jumping over Earl Thomas. So That is awesome. Yeah. It was a great time. Hey, wow. it's great to have you here Thank and you. Uh, a part of the BYU Athletic Department. We wish you the best of luck at the Clyde Littlefield Texas Relays coming up in Austin, Texas this week, and we'll give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for that. Thank you can go you. jump over some things in Austin. Yes, and, that's and, the plan. And, hey, we'll do it again soon. Keep it up, man. Yes, thank you. Hey, great Good to have man. you here. Good to be here.